Today we're diving into a topic that affects millions of people worldwide, how alcohol really impacts your brain and your mental health. We've all heard things like, a glass of wine helps you relax, or drinking makes socializing easier. But what's really happening inside your brain? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how alcohol changes your brain chemistry, your emotions, and even your long-term mental health. And trust me, some of these effects might surprise you. First up, let's talk about what alcohol actually does to your brain. Alcohol, scientifically speaking, is a central nervous system depressant. That means it slows down brain communication between neurons, those tiny cells that carry messages through your body using electrical and chemical signals. You see, your brain has these neuron messengers called neurotransmitters that help your brain function. So when alcohol enters your body, it starts messing with these neurotransmitters, affecting the way they send signals. This is where the interesting stuff happens. Alcohol enhances the effects of a neurotransmitter called GABA. GABA is like the brain's chill pill. It makes you feel calm, sleepy and relaxed. Now this is probably why you might think alcohol helps you unwind, but it also has some other effects. Alcohol also affects another neurotransmitter called dopamine, which is responsible for giving us that feeling of pleasure or reward. When you drink that first glass of wine or beer, it triggers a spike in dopamine, making you feel confident, social, and maybe even funnier than you actually are. But as you keep drinking, the alcohol keeps ramping up the GABA, and suddenly your brain slows down. That's when you start slurring your words, making poor decisions or waking up the next morning wondering what happened. It's almost like alcohol is playing a game of tug of war with your brain's chemistry. And since it affects these important neurotransmitters, it messes with your mood, your emotions and your decision-making abilities. You may find yourself going from happy to anxious or even aggressive without even realizing it. And let's not forget about sleep. Alcohol can definitely help you fall asleep faster, but it doesn't do much after that. Your brain doesn't get the deep, restful sleep it needs, and that's why you might wake up feeling super groggy, or even more anxious than before. It's like your brain is trying to rebalance its chemistry after being hijacked by alcohol. But wait, there's more. As you continue to drink over time, alcohol can cause some serious shrinkage in parts of your brain that are linked to memory and decision-making, like the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex. This isn't just temporary. It can have long-lasting effects on your brain structure. And here's another kicker. Alcohol can mess with your brain's ability to produce serotonin and dopamine, which are important for mood, sleep, and motivation. When these neurotransmitters aren't working properly, it can lead to a higher risk of depression and other mental health challenges. Now let's talk about some of the ways that alcohol can impact your mental health. First up, let's talk about anxiety. Studies show that if you drink heavily or binge drink, you might develop an anxiety disorder. Think of it like this. Alcohol messes with your brain's ability to regulate fear and worry. So if you already have a tendency towards anxiety, alcohol can push you over the edge. And then there's depression. When you drink, you might feel like you're lifting that heavy weight on your shoulders, but that's only temporary. In fact, alcohol can lower levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps with mood regulation and happiness. So as those serotonin levels drop, your risk of depression goes up. But it's not just about low serotonin levels. Alcohol can also affect your brain's reward system, making it harder to feel pleasure in everyday things. Imagine you used to find joy in a nice cup of coffee, but after a while you need a whole pot just to feel the same thing. That's kind of like what can happen with alcohol and your brain's reward system. Over time, you might find it harder to feel happy without a drink in your system. And let's not forget about memory. We've all heard stories of our grandparents or great aunts and uncles who seem to have lost their memories. Alcohol can play a role in that too. Heavy drinking over time can cause physical changes in the hippocampus, a part of the brain that is important for memory. This can lead to problems with remembering things, learning new things and even thinking clearly. It's like alcohol is slowly erasing important parts of your life story. But wait, there's more. Alcohol can also increase your risk of dementia, which is a decline in mental ability that affects memory, thinking and social abilities. So if you drink heavily over a long period of time, you might be at a higher risk of developing dementia later in life. 
Next, let's talk about the connection between alcohol and your emotional regulation. When you drink, you might feel like you're better at handling your emotions, but in reality, alcohol is just making it harder for your brain to process and respond to emotions effectively. So if you're already prone to emotional ups and downs, alcohol can make it much worse. With alcohol in the mix, you might find yourself feeling overwhelmed by little things that normally wouldn't bother you. It's almost like your brain is on a roller coaster ride and you're holding on for dear life. Now let's take a closer look at how alcohol can affect your mental health in the long term. When you drink, it's like you're pressing the pause button on your mental health. You might feel like you're taking a break from your problems, but in reality, you're just putting them on pause. Then when the alcohol wears off, those problems come back with a vengeance, and they're even harder to deal with because your brain isn't operating at its best. It's almost like alcohol is a sneaky thief that comes in the night and steals your ability to cope with everyday stress. Let's dive deeper into the link between alcohol and mental health issues. A lot of people turn to alcohol to help them deal with mental health challenges like stress, anxiety or depression. But here's the catch. Alcohol isn't a magic potion. It doesn't fix the root problems. Instead, it creates a whole new set of challenges. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. You might think you're making things better, but you're really just making them worse. Take stress, for example. When you drink to ease your stress, alcohol might make you feel relaxed for a moment, but it also messes with your brain's ability to handle stress. To the time, you might find that even small stresses feel like major threats. Then there's depression. When you're depressed, you might think that drinking will help you feel better. But guess what? Alcohol can make depression symptoms worse. It can make you feel even more hopeless and helpless than before. And let's not forget about anxiety. If you already struggle with anxiety, drinking can make your worries and fears feel even bigger and scarier. It's like alcohol is a magnifying glass that zooms in on all your worst fears and makes them seem a thousand times more real. But perhaps one of the most concerning links between alcohol and mental health is the increased risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviours. Yes, you heard that right. Drinking can make suicidal thoughts more intense and dangerous. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, please reach out for help. There are resources available and you don't have to go through this alone. Now let's talk about what you can do to protect your mental health when it comes to alcohol. First up, knowledge is power. Understanding how alcohol affects your brain and emotions is the first step to making informed choices. Remember, alcohol affects everyone differently, so pay attention to how it affects you personally. If you notice that alcohol is having a negative impact on your mental health, it's important to take action. Consider cutting back or taking breaks from drinking to see how it affects your well-being. Next, find alternative ways to relax and de-stress. There are plenty of healthy options out there. Try activities like yoga, meditation or spending time in nature. These can help you relax without the negative side effects of alcohol. And don't forget the importance of social support. Talk to friends or family members about how you're feeling. Connecting with others can help you process your emotions and feel less alone. If you're struggling with mental health challenges, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and counsellors are trained to help you navigate these issues and develop healthy coping mechanisms. They can provide a safe space for you to share your thoughts and feelings without judgment. And remember, you're not alone. Millions of people around the world are working to improve their mental health and reduce their alcohol consumption. There are support groups and online communities where you can connect with others who understand what you're going through. In conclusion, alcohol can have both immediate and long-term effects on your mental health. While it might seem like a quick fix for stress or emotional pain, it's essential to remember that it's not a sustainable solution. By understanding the risks and taking proactive steps to protect your mental well-being, you can make informed choices about your alcohol consumption. Your brain deserves the best care you can give it. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to stay tuned for more informative content. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and prioritize your mental health.